and welcome to I Watch This As An Adult Movie Reviews. I'm your host, Mikkel Ford. We gonna cut right to the chase. Let's talk about Cat Williams. Let's talk about this Cat Williams interview that happened now, what, a couple days ago. Uh, Cat Williams was on Shannon Sharp's podcast and he unloaded on every comedian and celebrity mostly black mostly black comedians and black celebrities that he can unload on uh but i'm just gonna give my personal opinion on this on this whole interview my personal opinion on the cat williams interview is that i don't really have an opinion i don't really have an opinion especially on the people he talked about because i don't know these people I don't really know these people. And see, this is the problem with the relationship between celebrities and the public. We think we know these people. We think we know these people and we really don't. Like, so I really don't have an opinion on any of the character of the people cat williams talked about because like i was just watching uh gary owens podcast gary owens has a podcast called get some i was just watching gary owens podcast and he said that cedric the entertainer which is like one of the people that cat williams roasted uh he said that cedric the entertainer is one of the nicest guys you ever want to meet you know <laughs> he said nice dude he went on tour with them he was nothing but kind to him. But Cat said he also steals jokes. So like and to that I said he could be both. He could be both the nicest person you ever want to meet, take care of you. Uh he could do he could be both. Because people are people. We're not just one thing. We're not just one thing. Like I said, Cedric can be one of the nicest guys who will give you the shirt off your off of his back and he can still st- he can steal jokes you know he can also do that he can also be a joke thief he could be both uh like the one thing the one thing i can't believe is that people watch this shit for like three straight hours like this is a three hour uh interview this interview is fucking avengers endgame length uh i only got through an hour of it i only got like through i got maybe an hour an hour and a half of it uh because i got shit to do man (laughs) like it like but i got the gist of the whole interview you know like i got the gist of the whole interview um like i don't have a problem with what cat said cat can have his opinion about these people like these are his experiences with these people the problem i have is with people who never met these people any day of the of in their lives you never met these people you don't know these people and you have an opinion about these people we don't know them we really don't know them you see these people on tv and in movies and you think you know them but you don't know these people you don't know these people you just know what you see on tv you don't know anything personally about any of these people that cat williams is talking about we don't know shit about these people um like we don't we we don't know the experiences we would have with these people if we really did meet them like uh, Ricky Smiley is another guy that uh, Cat Williams talked about. Like, I'm not a Ricky Smiley fan whatsoever. I don't think he's the best comedian. I think he's a mediocre comedian, honestly. Like, I've never been a Ricky Smiley dude. Every time he would come on, like, a uh, comic view or something like that, I would fucking change the channel. I'm not a Ricky Smiley dude. But that's not to say that I might meet Ricky Smiley and he might be one of the coolest dudes on the planet to me like he might be a nice guy i don't know i don't know ricky smiley and like you could meet cat williams and he could be 
a dick to you, but this whole time you caping for him. You're like, he could he could be a total dick to you. Fun fact, fun fact, I actually met Cat Williams. <laughs> I know this is a weird way, this is a weird way to bring that up, but I actually had a run in with Cat Williams. It was 2005. It was 2005 in a Las Vegas airport. I was getting off a, was getting off a plane in Las Vegas. I was going on a family trip. Uh, and there was this guy, this little small guy. Uh, at this time, I was ugh, I was 19. I want to say I was 19. I was 19 years old. And uh, 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 I was tired, and a small guy came up next to me. Uh, he had like the perm and everything, and he came up next to me, and like I think he like he was talking to one of his people. He was talking to like one of his people, and I was walking, and he walked. He was walking like right next to me, and he just turned around. <laughs> he just turned around and looked at me, and he said rough day huh <laughs> and I was like yeah I was like he was like well keep your head up pimp and I was like and I was like wait a minute I didn't know his name was Cat Williams at the time I didn't know who Cat Williams was I just knew Money Mike because I'd seen Friday after next and I was like wait a minute I think that was Money Mike <laughs> <You know? laughs> I wasn't like fanboying or anything like that because like I didn't know who Cat Williams was you know I just knew Money Mike so this dude just passed me and I was like oh shit I think I just ran into Money Mike I was talking to Money Mike you know (laughs) but like I said you don't know the experiences you have with these people he was he was good to me for the 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 one minute we talked you know (laughs) he was he was cool I don't know how I would have went if we would have continued talking, but like he was cool, he was cool. Like I said, you don't know the experiences you will have with these people when you meet them. We don't, like I said, we don't know these people. We don't know their lives. We don't know. You know, all these people could have. You can have different experiences with different people people have different experiences with me there's some people that think i'm the nicest dude on the planet and some people think i'm an asshole you know <laughs> there's, some, there's, there, there, there's different you have different experiences with certain people you know not everybody is one fucking thing not everybody is one fucking thing another thing i had a problem with in this uh interview is like why does every black man have to get fucked in the ass to get famous? That was like that's like a running that's like a running gag. That's like a running thing in Hollywood, especially in black Hollywood. It's like every time every time a black man gets famous, it's like, oh, he got fucked in the ass. It's like, no. No. Like, I don't hear people saying this about chris evans or any other white actor like did chris evans have to get fucked in the ass to get captain america you know it was like nobody nobody said that nobody was like oh chris evans is in the illuminati that's why he got captain america nobody says this about chris hemsworth or uh there's so many chris's chris pine chris pratt you know like chris pratt is one that they could have said like he's so his so because that dude came from nothing you know chris pratt legit came from nothing you know that dude was working at a fucking red lobster uh the story is that he got discovered at a red lobster i think by like radon chung or some shit (laughs) you know (laughs) he was the uh he was the server at red lobster he he had radon he was serving radon chung's table and radon chung got him into acting and that's how he got into acting because he wasn't doing anything he was working at red lobster and he was living out of a van is that's the story of chris pratt if anybody got fucked in the ass to get famous it should be chris pratt 
you know, so, you know <laughs> nobody says that about him but when you say that you say that about like a guy like a like a like a Kevin Hart or 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 Kevin Hart's a big this is a Kevin Hart's a big example I mean, you even said that about Ludacris like Ludacris got fucked in the ass and then his reward was a light skinned wife it was like <laughs> Like maybe the nigga just like light skinned women, you know, like just like ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, but like why did he have to get fucked in the ass? <laughs> he had to get fucked in the ass to get fast and the furious. That doesn't make any fucking sense to me, right? Only with black men. They only say this when a black man they only say this when a black man is on top. Whenever a black man is on top, it's like, oh, he gave up some booty for that. Like, really? Really? I gotta be I gotta be bi fucking sexual. I gotta be bi fucking sexual to get to where I to get to where I got. It's not my hard work. It's not my determination that got me to where I was. I had I, I let Harvey Weinstein diddle my booty hole. That's what it was. It was like we really. It was, I was like come on man. I was like and y'all believe this shit too. The people out here, the public believes this shit. They believe in all this Illuminati bullshit. They believe in all this sacrifice, sell your soul bullshit. I don't believe in it at all. I don't believe in it at all. Is there shady shit going on in Hollywood? Yes. Yes. But do I think everybody got raped? In a, a, or the R word? Did everybody get R word? I'm sorry. Uh, did everybody get R word? To, to, uh, to get to where they had to get to where they are now no i don't think that i don't think that at all it's like if y'all think that y'all sick y'all some sick motherfuckers if y'all think that shit but at the end of the day my life still goes on none of this shit affects me uh like none of this shit affects me this interview did not affect me whatsoever it's great content Cat Williams is gonna live off of this for at least a couple months. Um, hey, the people that the people that he talked about are gonna get to eat off of this for a couple months. Cause they there there's responses out of the woodwork. Everybody's fucking responding. Uh, but like I said, doesn't doesn't change anything for me. Like, was this shit entertaining? Yes. Was it life changing? Hell no. Hell no. But yeah, that's my opinion. That's my opinion on all the Cat Williams interview stuff. Like I said, like, this is like the only time I'm going to talk about it. And then, like, I'm moving on with my life. That's it. Um, I'll be back with my review for Spider Man 2 after these messages. <laughs> <laughs> 